Hey, any fish? It's the first of March, 2020. And I've just been staying away from the world, to be quite honest with you. However, there are many things occurring that people need to be aware of. And I just wanted to point out a couple things that really struck me as something worth sharing, okay? Everybody knows that the stock market has plunged this week over coronavirus fears. What was brought to my memory was this little clip. The market plunge. And then the very next scene in that demonic cartoon is a mosque being bombed, okay, by three jets. And we'll notice that those three jets have very distinct markings on them. Three, two, two. So we have this huge market decline, the fastest in history. This will break the middle class. This is the whole plan is to render you helpless. Total financial control. And this virus is amounting to nothing more than medical martial law. So the markets plunge at the 322 jets at the 3 minute and 2 second mark. Okay, we just had 33 Turks killed. This war in Syria between Turkey and Russia, both very red in their representation, mind you. And then last year, just, just think about this. At the end of the IPEG GOAT, we have the spire collapse on the cathedral. Okay, we had the spire collapse last year at Notre Dame on the 15th of April. Okay, and it shows the Antichrist figure with this crown of thorns on his head. The crown of thorns was housed at Notre Dame. Just think about how all this comes together. So 4-15-2019, if we come forward to tomorrow, Monday, the day of Israeli elections, on 3-2-2020, it's exactly 322 days since the Notre Dame fire. 46 weeks. So, you know, am I saying expect war? Yeah, I am. This is what the red horse brings. War, a sword and to take peace from the earth, and to have men kill one another. Red China, Russia's Red Square, the Russian Red Army. Look at Turkey's flag. Okay, so the war is coming, and you know that with the food supplies being jeopardized and everything, between the crop failures and what's happening in China and everything, that black horse is soon to follow which equates to social economic calamity, the new world order system coming in. They hold the balances of total food, finance, and travel control. It's just that simple. A measure of wheat for a penny and see that you do not hurt the oil and the wine. They're already deploying military to make sure that farmers plant when they're supposed to, to make sure that everything they plant and harvest goes to the government. Do you understand? It's a complete and total takeover of all resources. And the pale horse follows soon behind. There are so many things related to this. It's uncanny. And I fully intend to share everything with you guys. I had to get away from the world for a while. Where do you see some of this stuff about Tom Cotton? Thomas Bryant Cotton, the senator from Arkansas, who says we need a Manhattan Project level effort in vaccines to battle this coronavirus? As a defensive measure, I just say again, it is essential that we shut down all commercial air travel immediately between the United States and China. As an offensive measure, because that probably won't stop it entirely, and because if it becomes a global pandemic, we have to deal with countries with very limited capabilities here. We need a Manhattan Project level effort to work with our best research scientists and laboratories in this country to develop a vaccine as quickly as possible. And their level four bio lab in Manhattan, Kansas. It just goes on and on, you guys. But the bottom line is, this stuff is upon us. And you need to be in Christ Jesus, plain and simple. He is the victory. So put your trust and your faith in him. You can't get around this stuff. The markets plunge. 
the 322, the 3222, 322 days later, right on the same day as Israeli elections. Put your faith and trust in Christ and lean not on your own understanding, because times are critical. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 